Hello everyone, this is just a quick follow-up video. I, one thing I didn't mention in my previous video is what happens to the exams. Now, as you may, may be aware, uh, the we lost a week and a half, pretty much, worth of uh, uh, lectures. And uh, the school still plans to end this semester dur uh, during uh, the week of, the, of uh, April 27th, starting on April 27th. So, so because of that, you know, we can't make up that week and a half we lost, which means uh, we still have to try to cover all the information we have left over, but at the same time, uh, we have a week and a half <laughs> less, right? So, so the, the key uh, decision that I had to make and that many teachers have to make is prioritize. Like, what do you do? Do you cut out some topics? Uh, what do you do? Do you make adjustments to exams? What can we do? Now, even though we had obviously these uh, difficult circumstances under which uh, you're taking this course this semester because of the shutdown and everything else going on, I still would like for all of my students when they leave this course successfully to feel confident that they learned everything they're supposed to learn in Calculus 1. So I'm not going to shortchange you. I made that decision. I'm not going to shortchange you when it comes to what topics to cover. I wanted to keep all the topics in the original course. So you're still going to cover every single section that was supposed to be covered in our face-to-face -face class. But something is going to have to give. So we can't do both. So we can't cover every single section and still manage to squeeze everything with one and a half week less. So the sacrifice I had to make is instead of having uh, five exams, which means, you know, remember, we had four chapter exams planned and a final exam that's comprehensive, I decided to eliminate the final exam. Now, even though uh, that seems like a big decision, it is a big decision that still does not hurt you when it comes to learning the stuff you need to learn and still be tested on it. So what does that mean? Mm -hmm. You're still going to have a fourth exam. The, the third exam is going to cover sections 4.1 through 4.10. So it's going to cover chapter 4. And then you're going to cover chapter 5, which is sections 5.1 through 5.7. And you will have an exam 4 on that chapter and that will be during the final exam week. So that will be during the week, which I have listed here as week 13. So your last exam is actually not going to be over the entire course. It's going to be just over chapter 5. So, so that's the big major adjustment that I made. And again, the good news about this is that you get to keep all the topics. So you're still going to be covering everything you're supposed to cover in this course. You're not losing any of the topics. You're not getting short change on the topics. And also, uh, you're getting tested on every topic. So chapter five, you're going to be tested on it. Chapter four, you're going to be tested on it in exam three. Chapter two, you already have been tested on it in exam one. And chapter three, you've been tested on it in exam two. So when you finish the course, you're still going to cover everything and have been tested on everything, which is the crucial point because, because that's important for you to learn this stuff. You have to be tested. You have to cover all the material and you have to be tested on it. You will be tested on it. The only difference is you're not going to have an additional final exam because we don't have room for it. And uh, any way you spin it, there's no way to squeeze them both, right? So... Uh, because typically we would have had the fourth exam the week before we would have had the final exam. But because we lost a week and a half, then you can't, you're can't. you going to either have them both in the same week, which would be totally unfair to you guys, or uh, one of them is going to have to be eliminated. And again, I decided to basically eliminate the final. You can think of your exam for is becoming the final exam. It just doesn't cover everything. It just covers chapter five. Again, I could have made it cover everything, but again, that's going to be still a lot of information for you to cram in a short period of time. So I made it. I made the decision, a conscious decision, to make it just 
over chapter 5, just like regular exam 4. So that's going to take place the week of April 27. Now, just to keep things in perspective, even with all these adjustments, you're still going to have to cover some material that week because we don't have any other room for it. So on that same week, you're going to cover the last two sections from chapter 5, 5, 6, and 5, 7. And then later in that week, you're going to finish with the exam, which will be the last exam in the course. And that's going to be our final week. All right. So how does that affect your grade and how, how does that adjust the grade? Well, the adjustment is really simple. Originally, when we had uh, four exams and a final, each exam was 15% of your grade. So that's a total of 60%. And the final exam was 20% of your grade. So that's 80%. Now, you're going to have... Uh, I eliminated the 20% from the uh, uh, final exam. So that 20% gets distributed evenly over the four exams. So each exam each exam is going to have a weight of of 20% instead of um, instead of 15%. So each exam, exam 1 is worth 20%, exam 2 is worth 20%, exam 3 is worth 20%, exam 4 is worth 20%. That's 80% of your grade and the other 20% comes from the homework still. So that's the adjustment. Now, the other thing you're probably wondering about is how about taking the exams? What are we going to do? Well, we still have a couple weeks before we get to exam three. So let me see here. Exam three is going to be in week 11. So exam three is going to be in week uh, 11. And it will cover, again, chapter four, which you would finish the week uh, at the end of week 10. So exam three will cover sections 4.1 through 4.10, and it will be taken the week of uh, April, starting on April 13. All right, so how, how do we address that? Obviously, you can't come to class to take the exam. You can't go to a testing center unless things change between now and there and that point. Uh, there's, it looks like it's going to be problematic. Now, I'm just telling you about one of the option which is what I'm doing with some of my other classes but of course this is all subject to current events and what happens in the next several weeks if things change in the, over the several next uh, weeks and we are able for you to take the exam uh, in class or a testing center which again I doubt it the way things are going then you know that won't be an issue but if things don't change which is what probably is going to happen then the exam will still uh, the exam will still be in a similar format it will be uh, just like the exams I did in exam one exam two so I will make it out as if I'm making out the exam for the face-to-face -face class the difference though is I will release it online just like a homework you'll get to print it out and you have a limited time to complete it. So you'll have maybe like a three hour turnaround to print it, complete the exam, scan your work or take photos of your work and upload your completed exam within three hours. And everybody will start at the same time and everybody will finish at the same time. So if, for, if it's the exam supposed to be taken at the beginning of the week, we'll probably do that on a Tuesday. And I'll, pri I'll probably try to stick to like a time in the afternoon, uh, kind of similar to your class time or time in the morning, similar to your class time. I may make it an afternoon because it might be more convenient for everybody. But, but again, so that, uh, just, I'm just kind of giving you a heads up about that. So the week of uh, starting on April 13th, you're going to have your third exam and it's going to be probably on Tuesday and maybe like from 1 to 4 p.m., You'll be, it will be released. It will be released only during that period. You'll be able to print the PDF, work on it, put your name on it, scan it and upload it like you're uploading or uh, turning in homework to a Dropbox. And I'll have, I'll create a special Dropbox for the exam. Uh, exam four will be the same way. 
again, unless things change, that's going to be the plan. So, because I know some of you are probably concerned about that and wondering what's going to happen with that. All right, by the way, uh, I also, in between these two videos, I went ahead and rearranged the topics and I got them in the right place. So, so topics for week eight, which is starts tomorrow, are section 4.2, 4.3, 4.4. So, you've got three homeworks to turn in, one by Tuesday night, that's 4.2. One by Thursday night, that's 4.3, and one by Saturday night, that's 4.4. Uh, and then week nine, you're going to have three more sections, three more topics, basically sections uh, 4, 5, 4, 6, 4, 7. Week 10, you'll have sections 4, 8, 4, 9, 4, 10, and that will complete chapter 4, Week 11, at the beginning of week 11, you'll have exam 3. And for the rest of the week, you're going to cover sec two sections from uh, chapter 5. So you'll cover 5.1 and 5.2. Week 12, you'll cover 5.3, 5.4, And week 13, you'll cover 5.6, 5.7, and then you're going to have the last exam. Now, right now it says final exam, but again, that's basically exam four. So that's a heads up on the rest of the course. And again, the key thing to remember is uh, your homework doesn't show up until you clear, you go through this set of items for each topic. And when it shows up, before you turn it in, use the discussion form. And now I, I release that so it opens. And you can go in here, like for example, section 4.2, and you can click, and you can click start new thread. You enter a subject line, you enter the message, what your question is, click post, and it will be posted, and somebody will respond to it. All right, I hope uh, this makes you feel easier and better about things to come, because some of you are probably apprehensive about how the course is going to change. Please keep in mind the most important thing that I'm going to be monitoring this course along the way. You're not abandoned. You're not by yourself. I'm here to help you along the way and I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure you're successful and get you through this difficult time and make sure that you still learn the, these concepts and get through this course. All right. Good luck, everyone, and stay in touch via the discussion forum. Thank you for watching.